I'm Olaf Hellebo. I'm here to introduce Renuron to you. We're a company with uh, long experience in the field of cell therapy. Uh, all we do is focus on allogeneic uh, cell therapies and it's quite invasive therapies compared to some of the things we've seen earlier today. Uh, we're 65 employees based in the UK and in Boston uh, and we are a um, public company listed in the UK. So here is a snapshot of our pipeline. As you can see, the most advanced program is a CTX um, in chronic stroke disability. CTX is a neural stem cell um, and it's surgically implanted into the brain six to 12 months after stroke. And after showing 50% efficacy in a single arm study, we've now started a placebo controlled study here in the US uh, to further look at CTX in, uh, in chronic stroke. Uh, the second program is the one you're interested in, so we'll get back to that in a second. Um, the human retinal progenitor cells delivered, again, subretinally uh, in patients with RP. Uh, the third program is exosomes. We have a well-established producer lines for exosomes. They can be used as therapeutics or as a vehicle for delivering gene therapies or other payloads. So let's uh, dive into the human retinal progenitor cell program. Our retinal progenitor cells are allogeneic and they're cryopreserved. Uh, they differentiate into retinal cell types. They integrate into the retinal layers. Uh, we licensed this program in from Skeppen's Eye Research Institute in 2011, and we've since established uh, the manufacturing process, which has been very difficult and taken the time, and, but we're there. Um, and we're also now able to um, produce high volumes of stable and, and uh, obviously GMP level production. Um, HRPC has a long shelf life. That means that we can ship it worldwide for clinical trials and then later on for commercial use. Let's have a look at the animal data. The RCS rat study showed that subretinal delivery significantly improved visual acuity um, as measured by optokinetic response in animals 12 weeks post injection. Histology from these rats showed not only HRPC survival after 12 weeks, uh, but also that the cells engrafted within the retinal layers, particularly in the photoreceptor layer. If you look at the right-hand side of the slide, you see the allogeneic transplantation in pigs. Um, so here we have retinal progenitor cell source from pigs. Uh, the cells were transplanted into mini pig eyes with and without concurrent immunosuppression. Four weeks after transplantation, histology was performed and we could identify the photoreceptors and donor cells into the retinal layers. And within the inner segment of the retina, the yellow stains that you see here um, identify, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, yellow stain cells indicate engraftment and uh, those arrows will show you that, that these donor cells are becoming photoreceptors. So in summary, we've seen differentiation into retinal cells integration into the retina, and as well as trophic support. And we also proven that immunosuppression is not required uh, for our clinical trials. So that's led us into pursuing two indications that we're now focused on, RP and CRD. Uh, both are inherited orphan diseases, and in both cases there are multiple genes uh, affected. So ideally suited for a gene independent approach, such as ours, uh, rather than a gene therapy specifically. Uh, RP is most prevalent with an incidence of 1 in 4,000, uh, CRD is 1 in 40,000. So RP causes progressive loss of night vision and peripheral vision, while CRD is the opposite, it starts with the loss of central vision. So RP affects about 100,000 patients in the US and about twice that again in, U in uh, Europe and Japan. Uh, Luxterna, as you know, is the first FDA-approved gene therapy treatment for RP. Uh, it is indicated in, in patients with mutations in both copies of the RP65 gene, uh, so that's about 1 or 2% of RP patients. Um, obviously, we like to treat the other 99%. Uh, we have obtained fast-track designation for this program, and the first clinical trial has started. That trial is ongoing at Mass Eye and Air Infirmary in Boston with Jason Commander and Eric Pierce as PIs. Uh, we completed the, the uh, ascending dose portion with doses of 
a quarter of a million, half a million, or one million cells injected into the subretinal. This was initially conducted with fresh cells, which is difficult uh, because we're talking about shelf life that's measured in hours. Um, we have then switched to a cryopreserved formulation, uh, which has substantial longer shelf life. You're talking months, and it will be over time, it will be years. Uh, we've also decided now to reformulate to a commercially ready cryopreserved formulation, and that one is now ready, and we're going now into uh, patients with that formulation at the one million cell level. We've so far treated patients with uh, light perception and hand movement level, levels of visual acuity, and the plan is to expand into better seeing RP patients as fast as we can in order to see, look at efficacy and not only safety. Uh, Dr. Commander will be presenting the interim safety results on Saturday at the Retina Subspecialty Day. Uh, gene independent therapy will have the ability to help a large number of patients. Uh, these are um, financial estimates made by analysts and banks that are following us. Um, these numbers are obviously highly dependent on their assumptions in terms of penetration and pricing. Um, the analysts expect substantially lower price uh, compared to Luxterna uh, for the simple reason that there's a lot more patients that will be uh, treated. So in summary, uh, Renuron has built up great expertise in allogeneic cell therapy over 20 years. Um, we believe that HRPC has a great therapeutic potential in retinal disease. We have established um, allergenic product, ca product candidates that have a very long shelf life uh, that enables us to help a large number of patients, and hopefully that will lead to substantial commercial potential as well. Thank you.